well folks doing a little vlog about my experience with, with being blind just having a quick roll up on top of keys the things i find the hardest of knowing about being blind is got to be knowing that i'm never going to see my family again never going to see my nieces or nephews growing up and it's hard to deal with that and the daily struggles of being out and about without sight keeping independent to the best of my abilities and people just judge you most of the time uneducated people think that all blind people wear dark sunglasses what they don't i wear dark sunglasses because i'm light sensitive and my eyes do look normal because it's the brain side of things that were affected because of a brain hemorrhage um also not every blind person 90% of blind people who use a white cane or a guide dog have some sort of sight left not everyone has gl gl glossy glazed over eyes some people have eyes that look normal some people have shaky eyes what's called nystagma I think if I'm not mistaken um, also I find it really difficult and hard to cope with when people just grab hold of me when I'm crossing roads and stuff instead of just asking do I need help? It freaks me out, it makes me panic, and I just want to punch out at him sometimes because I feel like I'm being attacked. Um, I don't know if anyone else has experienced stuff like that. Um, it's a challenge with being blind, losing my eyes out of how I did, but I try and be independent as I can. I try and to crack on with life and try and live life as free as I can and as independent as I can, folks. Um, but it has been a real bad struggle. I'm still struggling now with being blind. Um, and that, like today, my cane broke, my cane tip broke. I had to sell tape it together and try and navigate three miles home with not even using a proper, without even using my cane properly. I've asked to put on my off-road tip, what's the Rover rubber wheel tip, just to use for the time being on so I can get some new tips. Um, but I like to keep myself active and stuff. I'm not going to change that for anyone, folks. Um, and the other difficulties I have with being blind, it's a whole new way of life. You've got to change everything in life, like having a set routine, set orders for everything. It's really hard to cope with being blind, and it does get me down. And I'll open admit that, the, but the hardest thing to cope with with losing my eyesight is knowing that I can never ever see my mum again. Never say I can see my dad, my sister, my nieces, my nephews. I'll never be able to see them again, folks. That's the hardest thing to ever live with, knowing that I can't see them growing up. That's the, got to be the hardest thing about being blind. And why is it people just want to stereotype blind people from what they see on social media, um, with the false news and stuff in cartoons and stuff? Um, even if I weren't light sensitive, I would still wear sunglasses because my eyes look normal and people... I keep accusing me of not being blind because of the way I do stuff. I've asked to adapt quick to being blind. I've had, I've asked to learn myself basically of how to do stuff, and it's just a hard thing to cope with. Um, but I've asked to do it and get by. Um, I use numerous apps like Tap Tap C, Be My Eyes. I also I rely on phoning friends as well who don't live in the area as well just to rely on them and uh, um, if you'd like to know any more information I will be doing more vlogs about being, it's about my experience with being blind but I do find it a challenge and very hard um, please leave your comments below folks follow me on Instagram at rburnswallis2226 follow me on YouTube at rburnswallis2226 um, it's just a hard thing to deal with folks it's a life changing experience and if they ever invented technology where I could get my eyesight back, I don't think I would want it back because I've learned how to cope with it now. With being blind, it's a whole new experience. It's weird, it's hard to explain, but it's a whole new challenge and walking around is just a challenge on its own. Navigating, memorising everything, doing everything off memory. And that it's just a whole new life experience with being blind. It's, it's hard to explain to people who are sighted until you actually experience it and the only way you can experience it kind of 
and kind of get an inkling of what I go through daily. It's by, it's by blindfolding yourselves and do a, and try doing household chores while wearing a blindfold and stuff. It's hard to do, folks, but that's life. You just got to live a life that you will remember and make a and live a life that people will remember you by and that's what I intend to do. I intend to inspire other people, never to quit, never to give up, never to give in, just to live your life to the fullest it can be. And that's why I still explore around the buildings with my friends who can see. I still go out doing vlogs and videos, doing crazy stuff that most normal blind people don't do. Because I'm I am adrenaline junkie folks, I seek that rush, I seek that buzz. Um but that's just me. Not every blind person is the same. There's only 10% of blind people in the whole world who are actually fully, fully blind who see nothing at all. 90% of blind people or visually impaired people who use a white cane or have a guide dog can actually see some sort of things. Like I'm like sensitive. All I see is whiteness. I can make out some shadows and some colors of light, but I couldn't tell you exactly what it was or anything. If it is low light, but in bright lights, it, I can have non-epileptic fits because of how light sensitive I am. That's why I've got to wear sunglasses. Um, there'll be more videos coming up on this topics. Leave me some messages below, folks, of what you would like to see coming up as well. What other stuff you'd like to me to vlog about? But this is a little short vlog about my experience with being blind, folks. I hope you like it. Peace and love. Share the love.